The Age Discrimination in Employment Act, or ADEA, and Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 both prohibit employment discrimination based on specified classifications. You might think the standard of proof required to bring a claim under either would be the same. That's what the plaintiff in Gross v. FBL Financial Services thought until the United States Supreme Court sorted him out. Jack Gross started working for FBL in 1971. By 2001, he held the position of Claims Administration Director. He supervised other employees, including Lisa Nieskern. In 2004, FBL changed Gross's title to Claims Project Coordinator and reassigned many of his former duties to Nieskern, who was assigned to the new position of Claims Administration Manager. Gross was 54 at the time, and Nieskern was in her early 40s. Though Gross and Nieskern received the same salary after these reassignments, Gross thought he'd been demoted. Gross sued FBL, alleging that his reassignment was age discrimination in violation of the ADEA. FBL countered that Gross's reassignment was part of a corporate restructuring and that the new position was a better fit for his skills. At the close of trial, the court instructed the jury that it should return a verdict for Gross if he'd proven both that FBL had demoted him and that age was a motivating factor in the decision to demote him. It instructed the jury to return a verdict for FBL if FBL had proven that it would have demoted Gross regardless of his age. The jury returned a verdict for Gross. On appeal, FBL argued that Gross should have had to prove that his age was the but-for cause of his demotion, not just one motivating factor. The Seventh Circuit held that the jury instructions were incorrect and reversed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.